So now in this lab, we are going to experiment with creating a group policy, create, creating organizational units, creating group policy object, and then linking it to an OU. Okay? Good. Which is actually in lab seven. In this lab, we are going to create a GPO, and we are going to use our revision DC, okay? So we'll create an OU called Paris. So to do that, go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. This is our domain. Okay. So here we are say we are going to create an OU, right click, new OU, OU, organizational unit, and we are going to name it Paris. Please always click protect from from accidental deletion. Okay. Now we are going to nest under Paris. So right click on Paris itself. And we are going to nest three more OUs. Okay. First one is called computers. Again, go back to Paris, right click on Paris and then a new OU and name it users. Again, click right click on Paris itself, new OU and name it groups. All right. Now we are going to Create two domain in step number five, create two domain local security groups called servers and Paris IT admin under, uh, sorry, and Paris IT admin under group OU in Paris. Okay, so we'll go to groups OU here and then open it. It's here on the right side. So I'm going to see, to create new groups called local they are they're gonna be local security group one is called server so let first we we'll choose a group one is called servers okay and it's a domain local and it's security done another group is Paris IT admin Paris IT admin again also as domain local group done step five is done step six is create a domain global security group called players so under the groups also we have a domain a new group but it's a global group and it's called players. Uh, sir? Yes? Did we skip uh, lab five? Yeah, yeah, lab five is in, we are doing whatever is there in lab five, how to create OU, how to create a group, we are doing it here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Now here we are going to create some users under uh, users OU in Paris. So I click on users and here I will create some users. I'll just create one user. Okay, let's say we call it John 
Smith. Okay. J. Smith. As usual, we take the, the initial first name initial and then the last name. Just user must change, remove this just for the sake of the exercise. Our usual password, EA. Okay. And then just next. So now we have created a user. Forget about creating more users. Uh, it's okay now. It's uh, it's just repetition. You can you can practice with that on your own. Now I want to delegate Paris IT admin full control. Okay. For Paris OU. So you come to Paris. Paris. Right click. Delegate control. Next. I want, I want to add, and I would like to delegate control of this OU to Paris. If I don't remember, I can check find names or check names here, very handy. Okay, Paris IT admin, and then just say okay. Okay, add, and that's only one, we will not so only we are adding Paris admin to delegate. Now they will ask you what kind of control you want. Okay. You can choose here. What are the things you want to give power to Paris IT admin to do over Paris or you? All right. So they will tell you what, what to choose. What are the things that you need to delegate power for? Okay. Now it says here, you can create a, a, create a custom task to delegate or you can just to delegate the following, okay? And you can choose what you want to delegate, okay? Maybe you want to delegate, create, and or you just want to create, to delegate everything, okay? So it's really according to the requirement in the exam, all right? So next, finish. So we are done with this task. Now let's come to the next part which is also important here i'm going to create a group policy object okay so we are going to to go to so just minimize this don't close it uh, go to my windows open server manager tools and then start a group policy management we have it already because we already have installed uh, uh, Active Directory. Okay. We are going to work on our domain. Click on domains. This is my domain. Okay. This is my, let me maximize this because we are going to do a lot of work here. Okay. So this is the domain, revision1.local. Okay. By the way, the name is different because we are doing this on a, another domain. Yeah, because we don't want we are we have created a domain just for revision. Okay. So now we are in step number three. We are going to come here, and we are going to create a new object group policy object 
will give it a name Paris Lockdown. Paris Lockdown. Okay. Uh, there is no starter GPO, just say okay. Then now we are going to edit it. Because what it will do, we need to tell, we need to edit to give some controls. So Paris lockdown, you need to, you need to find out where you are going to edit. Is it the computer configuration or the user configuration? It really depends on the requirement. Okay, because here we are going to control how much, for how long the account will be uh, locked out or, uh, and when the what is the account lockout threshold? So all this information is actually under computer configuration, as explained in step number five. So we go to computer configuration, which is logical. It is under policies, under Windows settings, here, and then security settings. Let's expand this, please. Yeah, security settings, and then you search for, for it. Okay, just, I hope that you can see it properly and it's clear for you. Yeah. So for the account lockout policy, Just click on account lockout policies under security uh, settings. Can you find it? Yes, you found it. Under account policies, then you have account lockout policy. Then you need to set out all these things. Okay. Define the policy setting. For the first one, they ask you 30 minutes. Maybe in the practical, they will ask you 40 minutes. So you have to follow the instructions. If you click on apply, it will apply, but it will not close it for you. It will stay open. So, but if you hit open, it will close. Now we need to choose the threshold. Threshold in the exercise, they ask us for five, but maybe they will ask the threshold. Usually it's three. Okay, just say okay. And then the reset account lockout after how many minutes also we can configure it. Let's say we want to do it for 35 minutes, okay? And then just okay. Yeah. But be careful. Uh, doctor. Yes? Do we uh, create uh, global groups or no? Yes, we have created one, one group, okay. global. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now here, we are going to continue for our security settings. Uh, we are going to prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. Okay. In the same uh, policy. So this is again under user configuration. So I'll close all this. All this close. I open user configuration and then I open policies, administrative templates, okay, and control panel folder. And then enable prohibit access to, click on this one. You see this one, prohibit access to control panel. How we, we have to click on enabled. Okay. And then just say apply and okay. So this is done. Now in step number eight, you are configuring other settings, but again, it's the same thing. So now we are done. Let me close the editor. This is 
our group policy object. It's called Paris Lockdown. The problem with the Paris Lockdown is that, okay, it's an object, but it's not linked to any OU. It's not linked to any domain. So it's not affecting anything. It's not doing any task, actually, in real life. So in order to make it applicable, I need to link Paris, uh, Paris Lockdown Policy. I need, just click here. Edit. These are my actions. Just hold on, please. Yes, did you type something? Anyone type something? I cannot see what you have typed, please. Uh, Mohammed Khalifa says that his machine randomly shut down. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, just uh, re restart, no problem. Okay, now this is my Paris lockdown. I want to link it to my domain. So I'll go to my domain and then link an existing GPO. I will choose my GPO Paris lockdown. That's it. Okay, so now it is linked. So this is the exercise. All right. Let me just 